Hello and welcome to our press tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to add a subscription form to your website. Uh, for example, this is my website and I want to add a subscriber form where I can generate leads to my this website. So uh, this is my website importwoocommerce.com and I want to add a pop-up here for the users after 20 seconds or 10 seconds uh, so that users can easily subscribe and I get the list of uh, their email addresses. So uh, let me log into my dashboard here and the third party app name is Claspo. Just go to Google and search for Claspo open it and as you can see uh, preset rules to avoid widgets annoyance high conversion pop-ups for your website and this is how uh, these pop-ups will look like so first of all you have to log in or sign up to Claspo using your gmail or uh, you can also sign up using email okay let me just click on sign up i'll use my gmail address to sign up and now go to my account After signing up, uh, you can see that I have no widgets yet. Uh, it says new widget. So before adding new widget, let me go back to my WordPress dashboard and go to plugins. Click on add new and search for Claspo and press enter. Install this. Activate the plugin. Okay, now go to the Claspo menu here. In first glance, you will see the connection option. Uh, I already connected it, that is why I'm seeing this screen. Uh, but while you are connecting uh, and you already log into the Claspo dashboard, you will be redirected to this page. Okay, so let's get template library. Here there is uh, there are a lot of uh, ready-made templates where you can choose the one you already want. Uh, you can customize these forms according to your website's colors, schemes and other things. So uh, I need a subscriber form. So let me just look for subscribe. This one, stay updated with our newsletters and subscribe. So I'll choose this form, the floating box, launcher. So it will uh, look something like this and then open like this. So I will use this one. On mobile phone, it will look something like this. Here is this close button, there is accept and choose option and email. Okay, so let's see how success looks like whenever the form is succeeded. Okay, it's successful uh, when a user successfully uh, send, subscribe to your newsletter. It will look something like this. Already subscribed, if a user is already subscribed and he try to uh, subscribe again, he will see this message an error something went wrong error occur please sign up again later so this is uh, to notify the user that he is not signed up and he can try again later okay so these are the forms let's go to use template and then we can customize this template according to our needs a drag and drop builder will be open now let's change the title to our 
news letter choose option uh, you can remove this we can just have email subscribe and the accept policy and let's change some colors let me take the color of my website I use this colorzilla extension which is uh, free for Firefox and Google Chrome so I pick up exact color from my website and add that color here. Now let's change the color of text. It should be white. So this widget is fully customizable. Let's get everything white and leave other colors as it is. Click on save. Show once per session for a user. Okay, spent on a page 20 second. So if a user spent 20 seconds or more than 20 seconds, he will see this pop up and only once uh, because show once per session is activated. Uh, stop displaying forever. So once a user is already subscribed, he will not see this widget anymore. Show in sequence using silent interval. Yes, show all types of devices on any page, show all location. You can edit these uh, rules by clicking this edit button. Okay, launch click paste uh, you can add this uh, envelope on the side and whenever user click this envelope this subscribe button this subscribe page will be open the pop-up will be opened okay API based HTML element click paste uh, these are also the options if you are, want to use their API uh, it's also available here HTML element click paste uh, if you have a specific HTML and you want if user click on that HTML element and want to open this pop-up then this option is also available so let's click next and click on add integration we have WordPress here okay store in class for done we have this widget now available uh, let's go to your website and go to your dashboard open class for again manage widgets Let's click on publish for this one. Go to dashboard again and let's see if it is connected. You can already see that the envelope is here. It means that the widget is already activated. But for confirming, let's refresh the home page here. And also 
check in the dashboard. Okay, we have envelope here and after 20 seconds it will automatically open or if a user click on this envelope this will be pop up here let's spend 20 seconds on the page and let's see what happens okay this is open now let's add the email subscribe accept subscribe successfully subscribed okay now go to widgets refresh it we have uh, one view for this one view for this but for this form we have one target actions as well because uh, we submitted our email address and subscribed so um, as many uh, users are subscribed here you can see all of them like this so uh, this was all for today's video i hope you learned something please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and you will not miss my future videos thank you